Hello everybody, it's Dominic from the Primetime Treasure eBay store and YouTube channel. Thanks for coming by to check out another video. This is one that I decided to do in response to one of my Instagram followers, Julie Flynn. What's up, Julie? Thanks for all the great comments. Julie's also known as Uncommon underscore adventures so go give julie a follow follow me as well on instagram at primetime treasure there's no s uh, the reason is because on instagram what i do is i'll put up little 45 to 60 second uh, preview clips of sometimes what's coming that evening or the next morning from one of these videos or I'll put up unique content there that you cannot see on this channel um, because it's again just like something that happened to me during the day it's a quick point that I want to make or something I've seen that I thought is real interesting that I want to share with you but it's just you know something brief like I said 45 seconds to 60 seconds and one of the things that I in fact it was the only uh, video clip that I put up yesterday was me going to the site of an estate sale that I was at two days prior where I scored all those, um, you know, a big score of a uh, pony and uh, um, horse magazines and other, you know, equestrian related items. And I showed myself retrieving my bag of tools uh, that I left there. And this would have been a major headache for me to replace. Um, not because there's anything in there that's super expensive, um, you know, monetarily, but just, you know, it really represents the accumulation of, you know, a lot of time at sales and realizing, boy, the kind of things that would really be helpful for me if I had it, things that would make things easier, things I've even picked up at estate sales, like a tool here or there that I found that I've just added here that I you know think would be helpful. Um, and this, this bag and what's inside this bag has really been essential to allowing me to take items out of sales that other people just cannot get out of there or you know cannot carry around easily uh, because they don't have the a, uh, you know a bag of tools like this that they would need to accomplish some of the things you've seen me do on my haul videos so uh, Julie saw that I had the, the bag and um, she said hey you know it'd be a great video if you showed what's inside there now I've shown little bits and pieces kind of what's inside there, but I haven't done a full reveal of what's inside the blue bag. So why don't we do that? And um, I'm gonna open up the bag here and we'll just uh, go over some of the contents and why I have some of the things in here. Now I actually have not gone through the bag uh, at all since I retrieved it yesterday. I just opened it once during the Instagram video. So this would be a good chance for me to see um, and remember everything I would have lost uh, if I um, did not have the opportunity to retrieve it yesterday. Now, first thing to talk about actually is the bag because I found this bag in an estate sale for 25 cents. And prior to having this bag, I was carrying my tools around in a food storage bag, you know, just a simple, you know, clear bag that you, you know, you know, just, you know, keep around in your pantry at home. A problem with that is once you start putting heavy, like it's fine to carry around like little batteries and stuff, which is initially why I had it. But then when I started adding things like screwdrivers to it, it started poking through and making holes in it. And there was all sorts of problems related to that. So I realized I need something sturdier. So anything like if you have like one of these like little coolers laying around, you know, it's gotta be pretty small though, just to make it convenient to carry. Uh, or, um, you know, like a little sandwich bag, something like that. Um, it could be really helpful. Um, just has a zipper right here. You know, just unzip it, open up, and here we've got all the tools. Now, yes, um, this, I make a joke about this. I haven't replaced it yet, but uh, this is my cassette tape that I carry around. I joke around that it says I'm too sexy on it. Uh, there's really no purpose for me actually um you know using this particular title if anyone wonders i just randomly actually grabbed it and uh use it as my tape and i use it because i come across um walkman a lot and it's real important to test the walkman uh, with batteries they typically take double a batteries so you'll see i have a bunch of double a batteries inside of this bag um, but what you do is uh, if you are um, someone who's not really seen these before, if you're you know someone who's um, you know, millennial or someone, you just take this cassette tape, you put it in here, close it, and then you just play your, uh, you, you know, press play and you should hear the music come out of the cassette and you could rewind and fast forward this little film that's on the bottom. Now, inside of my... Um, in my glove compartment in my car, I carry the 8-track around with me. So this is for the 8-track player. You insert it into the slot and press play, and then you should hear this uh, the sound coming from the 8-track. 
Um, I don't carry it around in here. You could see why. Um, I could technically fit it in here, but um, I don't come across tons of 8-track players, so I don't want to take the space up for something that I don't come across as much. So I just go back out to the car to grab it when I do find one. I do come across the Walkman every so often, and so this is light and very easy to carry around, so that's why I keep it in the bag. Another thing, by the way, I'll carry in the glove compartment is a VHS tape. Uh, this is the King and I. It doesn't really matter what it is you use, just as long as it's a valid tape, because when you find uh, VHS players, it definitely is helpful to test them to see if they're working. Is it fast forwarding, rewinding? It's rare that you're gonna find it hooked up that you can actually play it, but it will at least tell you if when you hit play, if that's working or stop or eject. Uh, it's a way to test the functionality out of it. So just, you know, you'll find these all the time. Just grab one for, you know, 25 cents, 50 cents when you're at a garage sale or a rummage sale or something or a library sale. They're, they're always around, so just grab one, pick one up. Um, and take it back with you. So, uh, you know, just keep it around the glove compartment. Now, one of the things I keep with me um, is one of these uh, 12 volt uh, connectors. So this would be something that you can connect to like a stereo or some type of electronic device. So you can plug it in to test if it works. You wouldn't believe how many times you'll run across something that's a, you know, potentially good electronic uh, device to flip. But if it doesn't have the 12 volt connector, you cannot, um, you know, you can't test it out. You won't know if it works right then and there. So I like to know right then and there because a lot of times they don't work and then you're just wasting your money. So, you know, here's here's another one. They come in different shapes and sizes, but uh, this is one that I, you know, I, these are ones that I just find at um, estate sales, garage sales laying around. Don't go out and purchase one if you could avoid it because they are actually a little bit pricey. Um, so, um, you know, just, you could get them for like for 25 cents at an estate sale or something or at a garage sale. So just pick them up when you see them there. So really, really helpful. Uh, another thing that I love is having a chisel with me. Uh, a chisel is really useful for prying items off of walls that are stuck to it. Some things that are glued to the wall. So you just need to get right underneath it. Boom, pop it right out. I did that recently with the Peels Brother uh, sign uh, that I sold. Uh, pop that right off of the wall. No one was able to get it and the chisel was the key. Um, now, by the way, if you don't have the tool with you, okay, look around at the sale for the tool. It may be laying around. I actually did not have the chisel with me, and I really needed it, and I was fortunate enough that um, I looked around and found one that was at the same sale in another one of the rooms. It was a tool room, and I used it. So that's actually where I got it, and I've carried it with me since because... I know that if I don't take that chisel with me, that at another sale I'm going to be, I'm going to need a chisel and I'm not going to have it. And, um, and I'm going to kick myself for not picking it up. So as a general rule of thumb, think to yourself, if I needed this tool once, chances are I'm going to need it again. So I better carry it around with me. Uh, another thing that I like to carry around with me um, are, and this is, I'd say, one of the most essential tools to have, is the screwdriver. Because there are a lot of things that are screwed into walls, that are screwed into um, uh, drawers, that you need to get out. Um, and if you don't have a screwdriver, you know, you're stuck. There's no way you're going to get it. Um, and not every place is going to, believe it or not, have a screwdriver that's available. Or if they do have one, you're not going to know where it's located and neither were the people who are running like an estate sale or something like that. So um, I suggest carrying around these small ones, by the way, not the longer screwdrivers. They take up a lot of space. This is much, much easier to carry around. Plus, there are things that with the longer screwdriver, you just can't get out because you just don't have enough leverage on it. These having this nice thick base right here. Um, these really help give you the leverage to just really get almost anything out. So really, really suggest these small ones. I mean, this one was made by Husky, but you'll see these laying around, um, again, all the time at rummage sales, at estate sales, uh, you know, garage sales. So just pick them up when you see these little small guys, pick them up, put them in your bag, use your Phillips head right there and your flat head. So I have one of each. Now in my car, I do also have a Swiss Army knife uh, that has like 57 little tools into it. 
Um, I don't carry it around because it does have a knife in it. I don't want anyone to think I'm carrying around a weapon, but I do have that kind of as a backup in my car uh, just in case, you know, I need something. But, you know, that is, you know, last resort because, um, you know, like let's say I lost this, for example. But even if I did, the Swiss Army Knife one is not going to be as strong as this. So just, you know, try to keep these around, carry these around with you. Um, another thing I have that I carry around that I picked up recently are um, different kinds of wrenches. So that could be really helpful if you run across something like that uh, vice grip that was attached to the bottom of the workbench recently and I really needed to get that stuff out. I didn't have wrenches with me. Fortunately, again, uh, I was able to find wrenches at the sale and I took these wrenches with me and I picked them up and I've added it to my, uh, my, my toolbox. So that's really, uh, uh, those are really good to have. Um, other things that I have are, um, um, different types of batteries here like this one here um, these are some uh, lithium batteries that you'll see uh, 2032 why do I have 2032 I'm not saying you need to have 2032 but what happened is I came to uh, a garage sale and there were uh, there was an item there that uh, took this type of battery I didn't have it with me so I said you know what I want to pick it up for now on so I have it with me just in case I need it because I don't even remember offhand exactly what it was but if I would have had the, these with me I would have been able to test if it worked and without it you know I, I'm, I'm not going to know plus as I said if I don't pick this up the next time I'm gonna come across the same item at another sale and I'm gonna kick myself for not having this so this is this is why I picked that up uh, other uh, types of batteries that I like to carry around with me um, well double-a batteries are definitely essential now I use rechargeable ones they help save money to have rechargeable batteries but you do have to make sure periodically that they are recharged because you don't want to go to a sale, test something out like a Walkman and not think that it worked and it really does. And some of these Walkmans can be worth a lot of money, especially the old Sonys um, and not think it worked when it really did. So, um, you know, make sure that you have these charged up. Uh, same thing with the um, AAA batteries. Now, I actually have some AAA batteries that my wife picked up recently um, in a big lot, and these are not the rechargeable ones, but because she just picked them up recently, I just threw some of them in there. Now, I keep like um, at least three AAAs because there's a lot of items that take AAAs that you need to have three of them. I do also in my glove compartment keep some of these batteries as well, like the D batteries. I keep two on hand with me um, but as you know for some of those old vintage toys for example or stereos you know they may need a lot of uh, D batteries to work so I carry those again in the glove compartment because I do, do, do get heavy I don't want to carry around a ton of these every single time I go to sell in terms of um, whether or not you should decide to bring a whole bag of tools with you into a sale versus leaving it in the car uh, what I do with that is just uh, pretty much as a general rule of thumb, if I'm at a state sale, I always take this with me because usually you have to park a little far down the road. You don't want to be in the situation where you're in the sale. Then you have to run back to the car. Um, in the meantime, someone could take your item. You don't want that to happen. Same thing with, you know, if you're down in the basement, which is a lot of times where I find I need this bag of tools. I don't want to have to then go back upstairs out to my car to, uh, you know, retrieve the bag. Now, if it's at a garage, sale where I've parked my car right next to the uh, driveway and I'm just walking right up to look at some items then I leave it in the car because I know if I do happen to need it I could just go two seconds right back to my uh, car and grab it so you don't have to take this literally out with you every single time uh, as you could you know just see from the story I just provided um, you know take it out enough times and there it does increase the chance that you could potentially lose it so I try to minimize the amount of times I actually have to take this um, out with me but uh, so D batteries um, are one of the things I keep with me at, in addition to um, C batteries. So I take some C batteries with me as well. One of the other things I carry around with me are um, tape measures. I have a tape measure like this and I also have a little small one here that you can just pull out like this. I you know, don't carry the big bulky one around. I have plenty of those here at home but uh, um, just because again you want to just decrease the amount of bulk the amount of weight these things start to add up You know you got a lot of batteries you got screwdrivers and stuff and so uh, again you want to just decrease your weight 
um, and also decrease um, the volume that you have inside of the container because you want to keep as many things in there as possible. So uh, this folds up really easily and this is obviously very short and compact, but I use it because, for example, let's say I come across an item that there's multiples of them online uh, in terms of checking the comps, like an action figure or something, and I need to know exactly how tall it is to figure out which uh, item it matches up to, this is the easiest way to do it. Of course, I could eyeball it and use experience and that sort of stuff, but uh, sometimes I like to just have the certainty of uh, using the tape measure to figure that out. Um, rubber bands are really important when you come across posters because if you don't have a rubber band with you and you find posters, they will usually unfurl on you and they're a real pain to carry around with you throughout the sale and they're going to get damaged. You could just tighten it up uh, if you have the rubber band, just put the rubber band right around it and then you are all set to carry that poster around with you during the sale. So I carry a bunch of rubber bands around with me, not just one, because uh, you never know how many of those you're going to come across and sometimes I come across multiple posters and I just have all these rubber bands with me and uh, just, um, you know, just tie them all up and uh, carry them around. Uh, other things in here would be a 9 volt battery. So sometimes you will come across something that needs the 9 volt. Uh, typically it's just one 9 volt. Uh, I do have extras in the car if I need it, but definitely the 9 volt. So the key batteries would be the 9 volt, the AAA, the AA, the C, and the D. And then, you know, just kind of random things like this based on whatever it is that you uh, run across that you find that you might need a battery for. Um, the other thing I carry around with me is a pencil and a pen because you never know when you need to write something down. And uh, pencil is uh, extra important because if you come across old vintage pencil sharpeners, this is a great way to test it to figure out if it's actually working. Sometimes the gears could get damaged and the pencil sharpeners, the old vintage ones, the metal ones, um, they could be worth a lot of money. And uh, lastly, I uh, carry a magnet around with me. I think it's lastly. Oh, no, sorry. There's two more things. Uh, I carry a magnet around with me that could help you distinguish whether or not something may be gold, may be silver, is by checking out its uh, metallic quality. So uh, it won't give you a guarantee for, the, for, you know, to figure out gold you're going to have to tell, um, you know, do a, a, an actual test on it later on. But if you try to pull it up and it looks like gold and you pull it up and it's sticking, it's not going to be real gold. So you got to be, you know, you, that, that's just a quick way. Now, if you pick it up uh, and it's not, it's not, uh, you try to pick it up with the magnet and it's not uh, attaching to it, that does not mean it's real gold. You have to do additional testing on it to figure it out, but it's a way to at least, you know, do kind of a quick check to give you a sense of whether you may be in the ballpark of something that could potentially uh, be gold or, or, or silver. Uh, lastly, I picked up these two marbles that I carry around with me in case I ever come across a marble roller again, like I did. Uh, remember there was a, a garage sale I went to this year where I found a marble roller, a wooden marble roller for $3, and I turned around and flipped it for $70. Having these marbles are uh, a way that you could test whether or not they work. Fortunately, the lady was able to go back into the house and find this marble. So I used it, tested it. She said I could keep it. And then my wife, Mrs. Primetime, actually collects marbles. So I grabbed the larger one just in case I was going to run into, you know, your larger standard size uh, marble like this and uh, need to test uh, out a similar marble roller. So that's it. Uh, those are the things that I have in my bag of tools. Now, if there's something I don't have in there, that you think that I should have, please uh, let me know that and uh, I will be sure to uh, consider adding an item like that into the tool bag. So um, also if, you know, tools that you use that you didn't see featured in here, uh, let me know about that. I'd always like to see different ideas. That's how I learn as well. Um, it's not just a one-way street. I learn a lot of things from your comments, so please make sure you add a comment down below. If you have a question, uh, put a question down there as well. Uh, make sure that you like the video if you enjoyed it, uh, if you um, um, it want notifications for future videos and want to further support this channel, make sure you subscribe. We just went over 900 subscribers yesterday, so I'm really excited about that. And now the quest is on to 1,000. That really would mean a lot to me to have 1,000 subscribers at the channel. It would be a big milestone. So if you could support me in that, I would appreciate it. Um, 
also join my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. The link to that is down below. We have over 2,500 members there. Uh, lots of useful content, all devoted to reselling. All sorts of tips, strategies, um, news updates, uh, video clips, all sorts of things. So make sure you come on by there. And as I said earlier, make sure you're following me at Instagram. That's at Primetime Treasure. With that, I'm going to put this tool bag back together and uh, get ready for another day of reselling and hope to see you all at the next video. Thanks, everybody.